Hi everybody, um, I get asked a lot uh, how I get my um, guitar tones on the sort of Dead Soul stuff and with this uh, Devil's Music, so I thought I'd uh, briefly go over how I do that. Um, first of all, I'm using two guitars, this being one of them, this is an ESP uh, EC1000. Uh, basically, I've got EMG active pickups in it, 1681, I believe. Um, I use a thicker gauge string, I'm probably using a 60 on this, um, it just gives you a lot more richer tone. Using kind of thick um, picks as well, these Tortex uh, Dunlop jobbies, which are just fucking cool. Give me a lot more grip and a lot more kind of power, and, and pretty much a lot of the time I'm down picking and I'm sort of very try and be as very precise with, with the drums and the click as well. Um, and I'm almost kind of using a degent style, perhaps, if that's the right word. But um, so you're going to get this kind of normally guys who play, for example, an open note like this. And it's kind of okay. I will down pick as much as possible just because you get a clearer and more precise tones you'll get compared to alternate picks which your hands move all around a lot more, so you're, you're losing that. With something like this riff, um, it's all downstroked. I'm using a combination of open and un unpalmed and palmed, uh, if you watch my kind of right hand. If I was to play that completely palm mood, it would sound like this. which doesn't really give you that dynamic, so you kind of want to give those off, you know, pull your palm off as much as possible. Just gives you that. And the trick with palm moving as well is, is, is literally a millimetre difference here can change the tone completely. So I'll show you like this. See it sounds too tight now. It's, open, but it, it's where you want the tone to be and when I'm doing like the rhythm guitars and stuff like this I'm using four channels so I have to try and match um, each part as much as possible so it sounds like almost like one guitar but because I'm using the four channels you're getting that big big sound and that's always the plan to have kind of a slab of guitar. This is uh, just the guitars by themselves. <laughs> Basically using a product by a company called Tune Track. Uh, it's called Easy Mix 2. Um, there's just you're basically recording in DI clean, and then you have a selection of of different guitar tones. You'll see from the tracks here that I've got uh, where's my little mate? So yeah, a 5150 Degent, Carve, and a DVM, and, an e, and a VH. But this is just the BC Rich. <laughs> It's got um, a lot more of a kind of a high-end, kind of harsher tone, I guess. And then this is the ESP, which is a slightly more warmer, uh, thicker sound. Sounds like this. So together, you get this. So here's the guitars with everything else put in. Song Lover Carly that I did with Delman um, is a prime example of of a couple of styles that I use. I'll, I'll kind of play like the main kind of riff, uh, the intro riff, or whatever you want to call it, for the song, which goes like this. 
and it's like a collection of pull-offs from here. But then that's par mood, so yeah. So it'd be like if I was to play that alternate pick, it would sound like this. Here how it's not so precise, but with all downstroke it's much precise, much more precise. The same with the uh, the if I try and remember it now, the, the middle section is kind of that rip-off kind of master of puppets riff. Something like that I think. But obviously that's alternate pick, so It has more of a looser feel, but I play it down straight. Kills the right arm, but it, you can hear the, the difference in the preciseness or unpreciseness or looseness. But it's whatever you want, uh, you know, your band to sound like. If I want something to sound looser, I'll, 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 turn, I'll alternate pick. from that song, the main kind of riff that everyone kind of remembers or whatever. All open. No palm mix. Till this part. You'll see from that part I'm alternate picking. 